Aries, welcome to this three card oracle reading for the beautiful energy that's coming to us soon of love. That's February the 14th, Valentine's Day. So it seemed appropriate to do a Valentine's or February reading for romance, relationships and love. And these cards are solely derived for that purpose. They are connected to the angelic realm that also bring in those connections. So Aries, let's see what's in store for you in the way of romance, partnerships and love. Trust. Express your love. Release your ex. So if we move to the first card and we have trust. If any of you are in relationships where there is an issue going on that you are doubting either the, the other person or yourself, you need to have faith. It's calling for you to have faith. So some of you may have been going through something where you are doubting the reason why you're with the person or something that's happened within your usually close intimate relationship. So we're talking romantic relationships here. It would appear that um, put your faith in a higher power and let the situation evolve. And I think that's the best way with trust. So rather than cut it off right at this point, allow it to evolve and see what actually happens. Um, look a little bit deeper and a little bit further instead of looking only at what you believe you have seen or heard or found. So that's the first message there. And the second one is express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So for some of you who are looking for love and think that there might be someone interested, it would appear that this could be a time where that connection might be abridged. So if you are prepared to take the risk on somebody that you feel is interested, um, now might be a time to casually try and, you know, move that a little bit further in, move it onto a higher plane or to a more closely connected level. When we come to this third card, release your ex, the time has come to clear your energy. So for any of you who have recently been through or who are going through a separation or divorce, they can be very, very hard to let go of all the years or months even, weeks, whatever, of energy that have been attached to you. The input you have put in, the tenderness you have given, the support, the caring and the sharing. And now it's time you're walking away. You've, you have either chosen to walk away or they have. But to do that, it's got to be done in a harmony bond and it has to be done with lightness and appreciation of what was before. Because when you first met that person, you chose to be in a relationship with them. So they must have been worthy. They must have had points and things that you loved and honoured and respected about them. So as you both move apart and you move away, You've got to hold the more positive aspects of the relationship. And actually it's the same even with friendships. So this goes for any relationship in your life. Um, if you move away with angst or negativity or anger or fear or any of those, they will follow you. They will be the first energies or the first people that knock back on the door on your pathway forward. So you see, you must leave that behind. It's incredibly important and people don't understand enough when they move away from relationships what energy to move into with a new one. So I think that you're, you've got this trust and the release your ex and these are about, both of these are about raising vibrations. So I think for you Aries, this um, within the romantic sector or close relationship field for you guys it's definitely about raising your vibrations and letting go of any negative energies. Bring in these special archangels that are connected with this romance card section and really um, connect with them and ask for their protection, their help, their nurturing, 
their love and everything else. So there you are Aries, your love, romance and relationship reading for February. Wishing you all much aroha. Namaste.